Buddy, move. I keep getting oh. legs. Well, just come sit next to you. That's then. fine, right there. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Inside the Crosshairs. My name's Jay. And I'm Seth. And that's Buddy. <laughs> it seems to be a regular fixture in the videos yeah. these days. <laughs> We're going to have to get him in in one of the shots, but I don't know if you guys saw him. But um, anywho, we got another one for you. Today we got the Springfield XD 45 ACP. Uh, it is a high capacity 45, 13 round magazines. I haven't found any extenders for it yet. Uh, y'all have any? Y'all, uh, y'all, let me know. So oh, they're proprietary. The mags. Too? These are Springfield mags. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I know there. Uh, some other guys do make some, but mm -hmm. uh, but I haven't seen any more than the 13 round. That. Okay. Need to get me some base plates for it, but mm. 13 plus one and 45 ACP. That ain't doing too bad. No, not at all. <laughs> but yeah, basically they're a they're a Glock clone, uh, and they do they did a really good job with it. Uh, it is a little more top heavy. Mm -hmm. you know, it's a really heavy slide. Uh, it does have your uh, your slide stop there on the end in case you did need to punch in. Uh, now, one thing they did do a lot better than Glock is this trigger on here. There's a little bit of take up to it, but it is way, way smoother than the Glock triggers. So, <laughs> Come on. So I know y'all have heard me say before that I hate Glock triggers. Sorry, Glock. Great guns, but ooh. Yeah, I'd say that's better than Glock. Um, so a lot of uh, take up, but I mean, yeah. once you get past it, see where the reset is. Yeah, so not the shortest reset, not the longest. Yeah. It's decent for what it is. Got your front and rear cock insulations. Mm -hmm. They feel pretty good to get the job done. Mm -hmm. You know, I like that because I am a press checker. Yeah. I got up here a uh, loaded chamber indicator. At the top, that's always nice. Grip safety. I know a lot of people ain't fan of the grip safety. I'm not a big fan, but yeah. this one's it's really unobtrusive. Yeah. And it fits very flush in the mm -hmm. gun when it is squeezed, so it doesn't yeah. bother me on this one at all. Gotcha. So uh you have two indicators. You have the loaded mm -hmm. chamber indicator and that's a, the a striker indicator. A striker also. indicator, yeah. Cool. Cool yeah. deal. All right. Um, got serrations on the takedown lever right there. Picatinny rail right there. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Simple and effective. It does feel a little, uh, that slide, you do feel the weight of that slide. Yeah. That should help balance the, the recoil out. Um, yeah, because being a short barreled 45 ACP, uh, yeah. it handles the recoil pretty well. Mm -hmm. So, what's this uh, grip? thing you got on here <laughs> that's the the one gripe that i do have on it is the texturing or lack of texturing to it so i've i stuck one of these packmire uh, sleeves or you can get some from hogue also they're just stretchy and slip right on because mm -hmm. as you can see it does have some good uh, uh checkering on the front mm -hmm. and rear on mm -hmm. there so that does help a lot but man it is just slick slick on the sides so that's why I stuck that guy on there, and it makes a big difference to me having those finger grooves with it and having the rubberized texture. Because mm -hmm. uh, otherwise, it gets slippery in these Texas summers. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah it's like very reminiscent of a Glock with the uh, checkering right up in here and on the back strap of mm -hmm. it. Yeah, and on the sides is. <laughs> this, remember we said it's textured, but it's it's not textured. Yeah, yeah, very yeah. slick there on the sides. Yeah, so that's one of my knocks right there. Same as for my Glock, uh, that same type of stuff right there is is a no go, especially uh, with a, a heavier caliber like a forty. I mean a forty five. Um, you want you want all the texture you can get to kind of <laughs> keep them in there because they'll slip for sure. Um, yeah, but Glocks were the same. Any of yeah. the Gen 1, 2s, oh, yeah. and 3s. Absolutely. Yeah. All of them. Yeah. All of them. So yeah, that was a good plus part. that Glock did when they finally, on the Gen 4s, added some, some yeah. good texture to them. Yeah, sights are, uh, are, are nice. They're iron. Um, 
I like them. Yeah, they are a metal sight. They're just yeah. a simple white dot. Yeah, just a white you dot. Know, two yeah. dots in the rear, one in the mm -hmm. front. So yeah. nothing fancy. I wish it did come with some night sights on mm -hmm. it. Uh, there are other models that you can get them. Mm -hmm. Right on. But, yep, my first defensive handgun. That really? I Is this it? Yep. All right. I can't wait to get her out there and see what you purchased. <laughs> What's the backstory about that? How'd you come about that? Yeah, when I was uh, this one as when your I, first. Yeah, when I was offshore, I was a when I was a commercial diver and mm -hmm. living in a flop house in the bad side of New Orleans right after Hurricane Katrina. Yeah, you heard a lot of machine gun fire. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. So it was after my very first job offshore. Yeah. That. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I'm going back to Texas. I yeah. gotta buy me a pistol. Come on. Straight yes, to sir. Bass Pro Shop yeah. in Houston. Said, Give me the largest caliber with the most amount of rounds you can get. Said, hey, we just got these new XDs yeah. in here. Well, mags are great quality. Metal uh, metal mags. Yeah, solid metal yeah. mags. Oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. I wouldn't be surprised if like Metcar had something to do with this. But yeah, uh, I'm not sure who designed them. Yeah, but, uh, but yeah, those are from Springfield. Yeah. But I'm sure oh, yeah. Metgar, you can get some from mm -hmm. it also. Ambidextrous uh, mag release on both sides. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and I love the kind of way they have a little pocket here on both sides where it's kind of a um, recessed pocket to fit the uh, the the mag uh, releases in there. So it's kind of like when you have a firm grip over it, the, the recessed area in there mm -hmm. kind of makes it fit flush so you don't... Yeah, you don't even feel it. Right, you won't feel it or yeah. you won't hit it by accident <laughs> yeah. and drop the mag under extreme shooting conditions. So or rub but, your hands wrong. Yeah, very good design there. Also, they do give you that little trigger guard undercut there. Love that. Mm -hmm. There's also serrations in the front here. So great, do great job. There are some features on this, on this gun. Um, that a lot of top-notch manufacturers, not to say Springfield isn't because they are top-notch. Springfield makes excellent 1911, excellent rifles, um, excellent everything. Um, but there's some key features here, especially defensive-wise. Uh, um, whether you like it or not, this is an added feature, you know, that, you know, whether you want, you know, oh, I want a gun with the safety selector here, here. You know, you got an, an extra safety here. Um, uh, that's part of it. Um, right here, the uh, stop right there. Yes. I mean, the yeah. punch in. I mean, something a lot of a people, lot don't, of think people don't think about. Yeah, and that's something that you know, that maybe we'll we'll cover that topic on another video. But it's very very important. And uh, another video, in another video, we'll, we'll show why that's yeah. important. But that's a feature here. Uh, most give you a loaded chamber indicator, <clears throat> but a lot don't give you uh, the gun that the gun is cocked. Uh, uh, indicator, fire. right? Yeah, so there's striker. a lot, right? There's this gun has a lot of features uh, when you come over it that a lot of other guns um, don't offer. So great job um, to Springfield. Um, I can't wait to uh, put her on the range and see what she does. Um, yeah, I mean even li li just little things. A lot of uh, you know you don't normally see all of these features in one like metal sights. A lot of times they give us crappy plastic sights, you know, um, and we go with it. So. Uh, you know, good job on Springfield. You know, Picatinny Rail, I don't know if we mentioned that. Um, and another thing I love is that they put multiple uh, uh, grooves in here. I hate it when they just do the one, the one slot. Yeah, the yeah. one slot and you're <laughs> stuck right there. You can't go anymore. So if you have a light or any type of um, training uh, attachment that goes here, you're not just stuck with that one uh, range of adjustment. You have a range, now you can move up or further back. So great job there great job it works great with my mantis yeah absolutely <laughs> good deal uh, my only knock would be uh, I don't like all the take up there but it's not a bad take up so you know there are certain guns I'm sure we're gonna review and we're gonna be like oh god no yeah so that, <laughs> there's but, definitely worse right. out there but so, it is it is a quite a right. bit of travel to I, it. I would say that it, it has some a lot of take up and it's a bit stagey uh, but other than that, it's pretty good and that mm. texture on the side right there mm -hmm. for me uh, Along with Glock and a lot of other gun manufacturers no different, but not and nothing grip tape or um, A little rubberized exactly deal here couldn't fix so other than that Those are my two gripes about it mm. and, and we didn't mention it's also got the little trigger safety Yeah, a little trigger too. dingus. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, so you can't even when you got that that back strap squeezed mm -hmm. You still can't squeeze it unless you got your finger all the way in there yeah. Yes, sir. Now oh, they did a good job. Good job. Yeah. 
I can't wait to get it out there on the range and see what she does. So uh, I think that's going to do it for today, guys. Please hit that like button, share, subscribe, and smash that notification bell. Don't forget we love you, and we'll see you on the next one.